Okay, are we ready? Places. Quiet on the set. And action. State your name and where you're from. Truck, Southwest Houston, Texas. In your words, why, why do you feel you have respect in Houston? Should I show respect? That's right. Hey, hey. I'm a G. I'm a G. I got to be a G. Real nigga stand up. OG stand up. Crumbs to bricks, nigga. I come for that. Lord have mercy, mama done raised a real thug Me and my daddy cool, but he showed me tough love Fifteen, I was ass out getting grown By this time, my old man had to move on Mama couldn't drive, so she didn't have a car And I could still see my tea lady walking far Sweat on her face, purse, and a grocery bag truck. He good people or he loyal and he'll fall asleep anywhere and he sleep live. Can you elaborate on that? If y'all do not follow this nigga on Facebook, Instagram, any of them social sites, if you don't, you better start following him. I'm telling you, I got plenty of video of this man falling asleep in the chair while I'm cutting his hair. You dig what I'm saying? See, I did that earlier. Y'all ain't get that, but now you gonna get that shit. Hey man, I'm talking about, say, man, it's a certain time limit I call this, man. You know what I'm saying? As soon as I call this man, if I when he answer the phone, I know what time it is. But the crazy shit about it, though, it hoe be sleep. You know what I'm saying? While you talking to him, and you hang up, but then when you talk to him the next time, that nigga gonna remember everything you talking about, so it's weird as fuck, you know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, he, he really didn't get that shit checked out, though. That bitch just be really be going to sleep all day. Yeah, that's that hoe, though. <laughs> that nigga for real. That hoe got a memory like an elephant, though. Do you have any stories or yeah. any elaboration that you want to give in reference to that? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, man. You know, Chuck is an understatement for his sleeping. Yeah, I, 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 <laughs> he should be named, uh, Semi, or, uh, uh, motherfucking uh, back hole driver or something, you know, the way this boy snore, man, it ain't no snoring, it's bearing, you know what I'm saying? It's, how, it's a whole nother level of hibernation. <laughs> yeah, this boy here, man, he, he can wake up dead on this snoring, man. You know, it's been a couple of times, man, I done watched this boy sleep, man, he literally did, like, scared me, you know, because, you know, it, it seems like he'll, he'll stop breathing. I had to wake him up a couple of times, like, man, look here, man. You gotta wake up, man. Wake up for a little while, you know, get your breath. But they say that nigga will fall asleep anywhere, he sleep oh, yeah, live. Another thing, I'm gonna tell you something else. He a hoe too, but the good kind of hoe, you know what I'm saying? The bitch is stubborn, you know. I wanted to wear this bitch PlayStation Air Force One probably back in 06. The bitch told me no, and I was in my feelings, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, he will fall asleep on me <laughs> in a second. <laughs> That's a fact, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I tell him all the time, bitch, you the brokest ball I know. You know, you might catch him in Amsterdam one day, next day he on bail. But at the end of the day, man, he always been 100, and that's what counts. Uh, I know that he went somewhere after elementary, and most of us went to Welsh Middle School. And he actually moved somewhere else and came back to Welsh in the eighth grade. Uh, remember, you were uh, uniting with him uh, as far as going to high school the next year, but he went to Westbury, I went to Charlestown. We always kept in touch. Uh, over the years, me going to college, me going to the lead, always kept in touch, and I've been dealing with Truck for some years now uh, as far as what he does every year, as far as giving back on the holidays, helping him out with toy drives and things of that nature. Ah, oh, man, that nigga got a mean problem. That's one order I would never want. And for a nigga that don't never smoke, don't drink, serve, don't do nothing, and just can fall asleep, boy, that's a, boy, that's, that's a bad motherfucker there. I promise, the nigga ain't walk nowhere from his car to the highs and he done went to sleep as soon as he sat down. Nigga, what, hey man, I, hey, I wish I had that disorder. Sometime. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> say, say, this this will even better than the, the last one. Oh my goodness. <laughs> if anybody knows 
I know personally, I got so many footage, so much footage and pictures of me just clowning by the snowing. Say, man, this man, he will fall asleep anywhere. In fact, I don't know if you know, but Truck fell asleep on NBA legend Scotty Pippen's shoulder and got mad at him when he woke him up. So you know this man falls asleep. NBA, excuse me, NBA legend Scotty Pippen of the Chicago Bulls on a flight back home, Nicholas Ray Truck Brown fell asleep on his shoulder. And when the man tried to wake him up, he called him a whole ass nigga and told him don't touch him again. So you know this man got to be thrown off. He don't discriminate against nobody. I don't care who it is. If you wake him up in a deep sleep, everybody go get it. But I don't give a goddamn because I'm going to keep on messing with him every time. I don't know where that shit came from. Like, but before I went to jail, truck was like my side. You know, he was getting letters from all these colleges, from school and shit. Uh, I came home, the nigga was like three, th like they was writing me, telling me about the shit, but I happened to witness the shit firsthand and it fucked me up. Like, I came home one night with him and, you know, we ain't locked the door. The nigga didn't sat down and pulled out his money for the night. And, you know, he go to counting in the business. I ain't sleep, dog. That couldn't have happened. I'm like, trust me. I say, oh, man, my man's out of there. So say, man, where your motherfucking machine that night, man? I know that shit fucks with you and is annoying. And, man, put your goddamn machine on, man. We all go through shit that's annoying. I, I'm annoyed being in these fucking streets and shit every fucking day. But, hey, man, you gotta fucking do it. Damn machine cost $1,500 a truck. Don't let this shit go to waste, nigga. I keep hearing different different people say uh, truck sleeps real loud <laughs> and, 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 and real bad. That nigga will fall asleep in the Roxy on top of five eighteens. He's sitting on the he's sitting on top of them. How do you fall asleep on some motherfuckers that's blum, 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 blum. nigga sleep now? I'll be motherfucking dang. <laughs> That's my dog. My nigga will go to sleep anywhere. Except when he on the clock. Barbershops, uh, stores, anywhere where you have to sit for a long period of time, he's doing that. And that's the thing, it's funny. He, he sleeps so much, but when he has something that he's trying to get at, he's focused, right? I mean, if it's something for a single mom, if it's something for uh, underprivileged kids, if it's something for somebody that's less fortunate, He's kind of on point, but other than that, he's going to get to sleep. That's the thing. So that's the biggest thing that I noticed about Chuck, man. If he's at the barbershop, best believe, is he, if he's in the chair, he's getting some uh, some sleep in, at, at that moment. If he's sitting down waiting for his haircut, he's getting some sleep at that moment. So he has his time where he gets it in and, and, and makes sure he sleeps or whatever. And it, it's kind of good because as far as the schedule, man, he, he goes 100%. He goes 100 miles per hour. So when he does sleep, man, he really, really sleeps. Sleep apnea is a real disease. <laughs> it's not funny. It's not funny. Uh, you know, you need to get checked and aware. Uh, it has a lot to do with, with diet and, and, and everything else, but, it, it, but it's something that can definitely, it cost us some grace. And you know, he got that shit. So, you know, you could be in the middle of a company. Some shit like that will happen, you know what I'm saying? But you're a good nigga though. You know what I'm saying, bottom line. <laughs> Square business. Square business. My girl sent me a picture one time, man. It was a picture on Instagram because she follows Bun's wife on Instagram. And so she sent me a picture. I still got that damn picture in my phone, man. That boy knocked out in the back seat and Bun got a got a camp like a picture. So I guess he got that boy, man. <laughs> man, we've been on the road plenty of times, man. He'll fall asleep in the middle of your conversation. You'll look over and <sighs> he loud, too. That boy snore loud as fuck, man. You know what I'm saying? But shit, that's the guy. It's like the, uh, what it is, Deuce Bigelow, Jigolo with the girl and she's just sleeping. <laughs> yeah, he got that syndrome. I don't know what that is. But yeah, man, we can be talking and shit, man. Next thing you know, you look up and... <sighs> He, he out of there, you know what I'm saying? But you know, he, 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 it's, it's good, you know, everybody, everybody used to it, so, you know, it is what it is.
He'll fall asleep. <laughs> Man, I remember one time we was driving, I asked, I said, bro, you want me to drive? He like, nah, nah, I got it. And we drive I swear this man fell asleep behind the steering wheel. I had to scream like, hey, bro, we almost hit the curb, man. He, uh, I'm good, man, I'm good. He will fall asleep anywhere, man. Sleep loud, he will fall asleep anywhere. Anywhere, anywhere. He probably sleep right now. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? There ain't no telling me, man. It's probably asleep right now. You know what I'm saying? Shit. I don't know what it is. He know he can't even come to my house. Cause he know I can't stand the way he sleep. You know, shit, that shit scare me sometimes. So, you know, I just really, I don't know. I wish he get that shit fixed with his whole ass. <laughs> but yeah, man, that nigga can't stay up at all. Yeah, that's something that we got both of them in common. I'm a real good person. I fall asleep anyway, but he way worse than me though. On the airplane, man. If you sit next to you on the airplane, beg for another seat. Cause if you sit next to him, you ain't gonna re relax at all. That same thing with me. Whole lot of snoring. What we gonna say with breathing hard though? <laughs> all right, man. Look, this is my uncle. Like from May 26, 1996, of my birth, all the way till now, this nigga been here. So check this out. The worst ever times to catch him sleep is in the living room when you trying to watch Netflix, my nigga. Like, God damn, like, soon as we get in, it be like 5 o'clock in the morning, maybe 3, 2, you know what I'm saying? We hit the studio, boom. Probably hit the strip club, so I'm coming back. He'll be up for a nice 30 minutes. I make, you know what I'm saying, make my little size on the, on the couch and everything. He'll be good, 30 minutes. Soon as I cut on the Netflix in the movie, he gonna watch two scenes. And my nigga, when I tell you it's hard to go to sleep right next to him in the chair standing up so he can breathe, you know what I'm saying? He's leaning up like his airway is all the way over. So his snoring is no better. The scariest thing ever though is when he stops though. That, that's just the most terrifying shit ever. Just <laughs> And then he tries to talk to you on the phone. Just, oh my God, this nigga sleeping happens horrible. It's funny, but it's horrible and it's scary at the same time because the nigga try to talk to you while you're on the phone too. He call, hey, what's up, homie? Eh, eh, see you. Nigga, you ain't supposed to do that song, man. I told you, man, look, I don't understand nothing this man talks about, but I love this man to death and his sleeping habits because I get to get away with a lot of stuff when he should. Anything else you want to let the people know about Truck that they, that they might not know or what you want to convey to them? St. Nicholas, man. Have you ever heard of Santa Claus? St. Nick, I used to go around. But as I was saying, St. Nicholas. Man, that nigga would go to sleep anywhere. One time, you know what I'm saying, at a party, this nigga sleep at his birthday party, dozing off. Limelight, you know what I'm saying? Had to shake your own back, you know what I'm saying? But that's him, you know? But, you know, in order to go to sleep like that anywhere, you know what I'm saying, that mean he around love, you know what I'm saying? Ain't nobody gonna let nothing happen to that nigga. Let the people know about truck that they don't know. It's on you, it's your Don't let him fall asleep around because he makes a lot of noise. You might think he might be finna die because he makes so much noise. You know, so don't let him fall asleep around. Try to keep him warm. That's all I can say. <laughs> man, now, look, I'm telling you, man, this nigga got big. He got on the run. The nigga got big off sandwiches and cereal, bro. And I ain't lying. He was on the run for like a year and a half. All he ate was sandwiches and cereal. And the nigga got to like 300 pounds. Damn. So once that came, that was when the sleep had nigga. He ain't do that when he was younger. Oh, we had it, cause he wasn't that big. He was cocky, he was slim and, you know what I'm saying? He was in shape. But when he got on the run, so eating the cereals and them sandwiches like that, you know what I'm saying? He addicted to sandwiches, you know what I'm saying? When you got sandwiches, you give him nothing. You know what I mean? You ain't gotta have a whole meal. <laughs> but now, nah, you know what I'm saying? But, and you know, he had, so he had, uh, 
man, I don't know, that, that just, that nigga be snoring his ass out. He be scaring me, cause he stop breathing when he snow, you know what I'm saying? But that nigga snow out, it's normal to me now. You know, he'll sit in the living room and just be hating and go to sleep and be snoring loud, cause you know, I, now I can't hear the TV. He be doing this shit, instead of going in the room and shit. But that shit crazy, you know? Why are they taking their breath? But we all in your face. I want my hair a little thick this time. Thick, come on, Trump. You ain't gonna be still for that. I want it thick. I'm gonna keep it thick. Go on here, leave it thick. Alright. Truck, live it up. <laughs> what? Truck, <laughs> I ain't even put the next strip on this nigga. <laughs> nah, when you. I tell you. Nah, it be sucking when you do have a hump. I hate when he's going down. Nah, he's like, I hate what I'm saying. Up, up, up. No, I hate when I didn't be tapping me though. Up, up, up. Up, up, up. Gotta say it up 17 times. Up, 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 up. 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 Up, up,